Why, hello YouTube, how are you guys doing today? My name is Smalls, and today I have some super awesome League Play SND fa gameplay for your faces to enjoy on this fine day by none other than Overkill. So, thank you for the gameplay once again, Overkill. So, let's get into the topic of the video. So, just recently, this vi this movie came out in theaters. It is called World War Z, and it is based on the zombie apocalypse. Now, obviously, if you're watching this video a couple months down the line from when I upload it, it's not going to be a new movie anymore. It's going to be on DVD and Blu-ray and all that stuff, but as I'm recording this, it is a new movie in theaters. So, I kind of, like, it's based on the zombie apocalypse, so immediately I'm like, ooh, zombie apocalypse, I'm gonna need, I need to go see it, because I'm so interested about zombies and the zombie apocalypse, because it just, like, fascinates me, I don't know why. So, I would kind of like to compare that movie to something else. As you can see by the title, I'll be, be comparing the World War Z zombies to The Walking Dead Zombies, a popular TV show on TMC. It's about the zombie apocalypse, very different from World War Z, but still zombie apocalypse oriented. Orient, orientated? Orientated, oriented. I think it's orientated. I don't know. You know what? Whatever. So there are some really, really big difference between the World War Z zombies and the Walking Dead zombies. That that's pretty obvious. The biggest thing for me is actually there's two big things for me. The first one is that the zombies in World War Z actually run. Like that is a huge thing in the zombie apocalypse if the zombies can run i made a video about, th about this a little while ago and it was why the zombie apocalypse wasn't really threatening to me and i based it off the walking dead zombies and i said one of the biggest things is that they don't run like they they don't run at all so you can basically just power walk away from all the zombies and it's not that big of a deal but in world war z that gets completely gone like that entire thing is just gone because these zombies are running at you like usain bolt style and just destruction and blah, blah, blah. I just want to like rip your face off. So another big thing about the World War Z zombies that I find so much more threatening than the Walking Dead zombies is the zombies, they seem smart. They seem like coherent. Like obviously they're, they're zombies and their entire goal is just to spread the zombie disease and, you know, destroy the world and feed on human flesh like most zombies do, but they, like, there was several times in this movie where they, like, combine, so, all right, let me just build a picture for you guys. The zombies are charging this wall, this wall that's super, super high in the air, like, I, I'm just gonna say a number, 45 feet in the air, 50 feet in the air, or tall, and the zombies, what they did is they combined themselves, like, they basically used their bodies as a ladder, like, they didn't, like, make something that actually looked like a ladder. It was j basically just a giant hill. But they used themselves as a ladder to be able to have other zombies climb up it and get over this wall. So, you know, all, like, the things about, oh, a fence would easily stop, easily stop the zombies. Or, you know, a wall, a house wall would easily stop the zombies. World War Z, that doesn't happen. Like, the zombies will be able to make it over this wall just by combining themselves. Like, they're smart enough to do that and that's just mind-boggling like my perf my perfect zombie like you know defense thing at my house i would just what i would do is i would just like build a moat around the house so, like the zombies would fall in it and you know i would just kill them in some way but in world war z that wouldn't work in the walking dead it would work because the zombies are slow and they don't combine themselves to make a fucking wall but in world war z that would not work because they would just pile into the moat fill it up super quick i wouldn't be able to kill them fast enough and they would just use themselves to get across the moat and then they would just rip my house to shreds and kill me and my family and my dog and everything i love but so the world war z zombies they're just so threatening because you need like you need different strategies than what we're used to to, you know, survive the zombie apocalypse because these zombies can conquer basically any height. Height is not a big problem for these World War Z zombies. The Walking Dead zombies, they're, let's be honest, they're easy. They're very, very easy. So us as, us as gamers really are fascinated about, like, you know, wanting the zombie apocalypse to actually happen because, you know, we're all like, oh, we're so prepared. We're going to do this and this and this and this and the zombies will never be able to get me and I'll survive and all this crap. But during the World War Z zombies, that's completely different. Like, I, too, am interested about the zombie apocalypse starting, but not the World War Z apocalypse starting. I'm interested about the Walking Dead apocalypse starting. I would want the zombies to, you know, be walking towards me nice and slow. I could just quickly walk up to it, shoot in the head, and move on with my day. But the World War Z zombies doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. I would hate to have the World War Z apocalypse start because I would die immediately. 
immediately, I would be one of the first people to die during the World War Z apocalypse, which is really unfortunate because I would actually, you know, kind of want to live. So yeah, that's about the end of the video, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, likes and favorites are always appreciated. Subscribe if you have not already. I'm curious what you guys think about this. If you have seen World War Z, you guys can give your opinion on it and about, you know, versus The Walking Dead in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.